<laughs> it's, hey. it's been a chaotic day for Mr. Luther, folks. He'll catch up with yeah, us. Yeah, I, I will get there eventually. It's how how was the game you were at, by the way? Uh, it, was a, it was a good one. The uh, Hitmen defeated the uh, Utica Comets 4-0. Uh, it was close until the third. I'm guessing it was 0-0 until the third. No, it was 1-0. Oh, okay. It was 1-0 after two. Nice. Yes, I did put that sheet back home in my drawer. So. It is what it is. We'll find out. But I'm pretty sure Sean is right in that Mancuso is the 22. Puck spun around the boards to the far side of the ice. Comes up to the blue line where it's kicked along and sent back in. Gavin Wudenberg, number six. Battle behind the net. Sent out towards the blue line. Griffin Warsaw towards goal. And that's knocked aside. Centering pass out in front is broken up. Can also look to see if uh, Coach Benbow had sent me anything. This one goes all the way down. Tell you what, it's nice to see here, Brett, a full bench for Parsippany. And that was one of the big things we were looking at that for, the, for them this year. You know, a team that was a little short on numbers, bring in seven freshmen this year, including three who are playing junior hockey. So, you know, you do have to replace a David Zelinskis, but yes. it's a nice, nice job from Parsippany bringing in seven, seven fresh bodies, including their goaltender, Andrew Nicholas, the freshman. Got the lower scoreboard up at the moment. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. There you go. In the zone, shot and a save made by Nicholas off the attempt from Michael Nelson, number nine. Oh, look out. Now into the zone, this shot goes wide. Simony had a two on one there for a second, but good job act checking by Roxbury. Oh, yeah, Mancuso was 22. Okay. I, I, I'm looking at the actual headshot files, and it says 22 Mancuso. There you it go. He's never changed it on the thing. Confirmed. Brilliant. Brilliant. You like that. The puck <laughs> now in the Roxbury zone. Back for Kevin Barua. And we also love that we, one of the blank, few blank spaces we have left has been filled in. Mr. Uh, Guerra. Mr. Guerra, number 35 for Roxbury. Yes. One of the very few people we didn't have a number for before tonight, so. We thank all the coaches for helping us out with that information. Oh, yeah, it's so great when they when we were able to get that kind of help from them. And all the headshots, too. It's been, uh, yes. the teams yes. have been very receptive to that, so we've gotten that done. We got Rox a good chunk of Roxbury done today. Finish that off. Yeah, Roxbury is all done now, yeah. Cross ice pass, and then this goes all the way down. It's going to go for icing. And a stoppage of play here with 9.17 to go in the opening period. By the way, Brett, uh, I don't know if you can smell the smell of sandwiches, yes. uh, but for anyone who is coming to see a game here at Menon Arena, the Jimmy John's in the shopping center next door oh, is oh. now open. That, that that That's a foul. Oh, Jersey Mike's, excuse me. That's a foul. Wait, excuse me. That's almost a fine. <laughs> Sheesh. It's that definitely is, a dang it. That's definitely a dang it. This one hits the side of the net. My Oof. apologies. The Jersey Mikes. Could you imagine if we were actually sponsored oh. by them working on that? <laughs> cross ice pass goes all the way through. I, I'll Come get, on, man. I'll get through the difference eventually. That shot padded aside. It's two sub shots. They both start with J. That's about where the, that's about where the similarity is. Correct. Yes. In front, diving stop, rebound behind. And then comes across. Things are getting a little squirrely there for the visiting side in this game. Played along Jake Kalani. And that send down low is intercepted. Sent out to center ice. And Kalani will peel back. Give on a cross. And Wudenberg will shoot on in. 8.19 to go. First period in a scoreless contest. Oh, in front of the club save made. Ooh. Off the quick shot that time by Nicholas. Nice job by the freshman here in the early going. He's faced the first five shots, but snaps the leather on that one. Does a nice job. And again, such a difference having a full-time netminder in goal yeah. for Parsippany. They've had, you know, Gio Nigro in there the last couple of years, and he's done admirably 
along with uh, Medina Sarwari last year. But there's such a difference of having a full-time netminder in net. Sean, if we could go back to the uh, live, please. Yeah, got it. Sorry, doing a couple things at once. Uh, no worries. These things happen. These things Multi happen because these things Multitasking happen. happens. Yes. Multitasking definitely happens. Bounced around. And then this one will come up and all the way down. Nicholas, by the way, playing some quality junior hockey as well when he's not playing for part seven. He plays with the North Jersey Kings 15 UAA. In front score and Roxbury on the board. And a rather pumped up Tyler Peterson puts home. Yeah, he's a little bit thrilled with that one. He puts a nice move on. There's not much Nicholas could do here. As he comes in with a burst of speed and a nice power move, by the way, at the front of the net. Just mm -hmm. goes, I, looked, I don't know if that was five hole or just around the pad. Looked, looked like it was five hole. But a nice job by Peterson to get around him and a nice goal. Well, that's unfortunate. Looks like I re Somehow they sent out Mancuso for another headshot. I still don't have Peterson. <laughs> how in the world did that, how the heck did you manage that one? <laughs> how? That's a bit of an odd one. Yeah, guys. Dang it. <laughs> so I still need him then, I guess. All right. As this gets sent back out to center. And quickly back in. Centering feed goes all the way through. Bottled up and... In their own end, here's the Roxbury Gales, Gavin Barua. Move up ice only as far as the number 10 of Matthew Hemingway. Hemingway didn't try to send back in, gets rejected back out. So one nothing in favor of Roxbury. Off of Tyler Peterson's second goal uh -oh. of the year. Turn, shot, save, rebound, cleared away. Bit of a wipeout there by Kyle Kirk, but Recovered nicely. Put behind the net. Centering feed in front. Bounces around a little bit. And then on it is Aiden Riley, number five. Centering feed in front. Broken up by a couple of Parsippany sticks. They're loose. And a rising shot gets glass. Switched around down there too as uh, his ears. We'll have to go down and make sure yeah. that gets corrected uh, in between periods. Yeah, I said Peterson. I couldn't quite. They gave it to the other number in question. You Man mean they gave it to Mancuso? They gave the oh. goal to Mancuso and the assist to Peterson. Other way around. Okay, we'll solve that. But I have a feeling that might be just a number situation. Yeah, quite possible. Into the far corner this goes, into the blue line again. Barua with a shot, the save is made. Rebound bounces and out of the zone. So back in, sharp angle, save made. That's a little too much traffic in front there. Mm -hmm. Justin Katz there on the shot. Another bouncy puck here tonight. Yeah, it's. it's um, I wonder if it was a little bit too, a little bit too warm in terms of storage. Nah, I, I don't think it's been out there enough that the ice should have cooled it off a bit. Yeah, I don't think it's too bouncy. Yeah, with the way it's settling, it's just yeah. Is that shot Ooh. save made? And the rebound bounces out the center. 
when when it's flat, if it's not bouncing that much, and you could tell, right. and it's like, all right, it's just a matter of catching an edge and whatnot. Right. So that's the uh, the keys there. Oh, I've been unplugged. Why have you been unplugged? I don't know why I've been unplugged. Please don't. Well, we'll worry about that between periods. If it makes if your computer makes it that far. Yeah, I'll make it that far. I barely used it in the first game. Around oh. the net centering feed in front. Good job that time, though. Kalani was trying to look for the stuff. Kalani with a nice fake on the stuff attempt at the one post. Went around and sent it right into the slot, but nobody there for Roxbury. Shot. Save made. Rebound loose and cleared away. Nice job there. Nice job by Nicholas and his defenseman. Uh, Hemingway, good job. Now sent into the zone the other end by Robert Hemingway, number three. And yeah, Italian, these Hemingways for for Parsippi are going to be a couple of really important players for them mm. as they continue yeah. to build and, and get better. This is a team playing a team that was just in the Halverson a year ago, and you, you, can see, you can see it. A, you can see it a little bit right now. Them and Nicholas are going to be huge keys for them because again, Nicholas is I mean yep. 12, 11 saves already here in the first period. He's playing double-A hockey now. There's nothing that says he won't get it much better. So, Kind of reminds me of Roxbury from last year, actually. Yeah, a little bit of Mikey Guananino in it, doesn't he? As that one's a big collision. And we get a stoppage of play with the collision behind. 2.14 to go in the first. Yeah, the uh, Hemingway brothers both also play for the Kings for the uh, 14 U's. So, again, not just an injection of youth into this Park Symphony team, but some quality players as well. He has those players that are playing in the junior ranks. So that's just only going to lead to better things down the road. As I think somebody got a text message there as that song was playing. It's possible. <laughs> I heard a ding. <laughs> that's, why, that's why. There was a pause and a ding. As long as it's not a dang it. Yep. Oh! Wow! It somehow found its way past Guadagnino. And this game is tied at one. That's an unassisted goal for Kirk right there. Kyle Kirk gets a little fortunate. That's going to be one Guadagnino wants back. I think it handcuffed him a little bit, Brett. If you watch where this shot goes, it's a high one, kind of right around his hip, but just off his body. See how he kind of has to come in there? Yeah. And just kind of just stood up on it, and it slipped right between the body and the blocker and goes into the net, 1-1. One, one. The so. goal scored by number 27, Kyle Kirk. That is an unassisted goal coming yep. at 12.59. Yeah, that's uh, now break Kirk. the other way. Here goes Ellison, thrown in front, just behind, actually. And that goes across. Tie up in the corner here. You worked free that time by Larry Liu, number four. First shot on goal for Parsippany. It finds the back of the twine. Is that a case of all the actions at the other end and you're not quite focused as a goaltender, perhaps? Yeah, no, I just, that was a handcuff job. Yeah. Oh, good geometry there on yeah. the pass from the other side. It goes right on goal. This one dumped back into the zone. Spun around the boards. And now, that's a big hit. And that is, yeah, that's a, Gavin Woodenberg stepped up and flattened the Parsippany player. Can't quite tell who that is. My position, but that was a heavy, heavy collision. 41. Nope, 26. The 26. Evan Carlson. 41 7. And then you got to run it down some more. Well, they, they, they want to stop the clock, but they didn't realize that it wasn't going for about a good 20 seconds. It still has about seven more seconds to run if it wanted to run. And Carlson is back on his skates and going to the bench. Just got the wind knocked yeah, out of him. he got the wind knocked out of him. That was a heavy, heavy hit. I mean, he, he, that's one of those proverbial, I mean, we've, we've all, us hockey players have been through this. Yeah. He just had his head down and got caught. That, that's one of the 
more uncomfortable feelings get the wind knocked out of you. I, I actually, uh, I did not get that because of sports. I actually got that because of a uh, running with a Samoyed. Still not fun. <laughs> no. Face off. Set towards the middle that time by the number five, Aiden Riley. Oh, they front go. score, and they get that one right back. Oh, this is shaping up for a game of odd goals now, isn't it? 2-1 to score. It's a seeing eye shot from Gavin Woodenberg and just beat him at the far post. It's a nice, it's a, it was a tricky little shot because he had that opening there. I think, you know what it was? I think Nicholas was looking over to his left. Let's see if we see it on the replay here because there's traffic in front. Goes back to Woodenberg. And yeah, he was looking kind yeah. of above and to his left yep. as that puck came in low right. So out of the field of vision. A lot of traffic in front. Nice goal there from Woodenberg, though. Goal scored by number six, the other way. There's a shot that bounces around in front. Guadagnino has to hug his post. Scaraggi gets the lone assist. Woodenberg from Scaraggi. And the period comes to an end. Well, again, it's been a period of odd goals in this one. But at the end of the first period, it's 2-1 in favor of Roxbury over Parsippany. Second period, when we come back, Amar Sussex Sports. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. to relax during these stressful times? Well then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern Acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. 
Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home. And she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Samino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf hyphen lawfirm.com Welcome back to our game here Parsippany and Roxbury Mars Sussex sports coverage of the MCSS IHL presented by the Tanner Halls Memorial Game December 30th at 7.45 p.m. Sports Care Arena in Randall. By the way, one correction. A.J. Mancuso is 23 Tyler Peterson's 22 our initial roster are both at 23 we had to take a guess uh, Mancuso scores the goal from Peterson. That was the first one of the game. Sorry about that. We guess sometimes, and sometimes we guess wrong. Well, when you get a roster with two 23s on it, that's what's going to happen sometimes. Yep. The one on NJ.com. So we will make sure to have that right in the future. But a pretty entertaining first period. Parsippany holding their own here in this contest. Yes. They've got the three shots on goal. They had a nice series there right at the end in the last couple of minutes. But... A couple of nice goals. Some, a one seeing eye goal from uh, Roxbury. Yep. The, the difference in this one from Woodenberg. And our second period is underway. That shot deflected up into the netting. We get a stoppage. By the way, I think Woodenberg might be a contender now for uh, one of the longer last names in the league now that Flannery Garlic has been uh, has graduated from, I believe it was uh, the Kilcats or Newton. Huh? He definitely had the longest, with the, including the dash. Oh, well. I, you know. <laughs> Look out. Here goes Parsippany. There is an opportunity coming in for Parsippany Regional. Shot whistles wide, though. Rebound around the boards. And now it's Roxbury's turn to go the other way. In the zone, trying to send it once again. It's in. 3-1 to score. And again, the, the odd goals continue. Oh, that was a non-goal, Brett. You'll see it on the replay. It's a brilliant goal. It's a patient goal. And it's a beauty, I believe, by Jake Kalani, who's leading the line. Watch this feed out in front and then watch the patience. He sends it up. This is a nice move into the corner. Van Zyl sends it across and then sends I, it off the skate. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's oh. nice. See, I thought it just bounced off the skate and gone in. No. I didn't was, see the little touch there at the end. That's, that was, that's a good goal. Then. That's not an odd one. That was Kalani doing his best World Cup imitation. Nice touch there on the first touch and put it away with his stick. Aye. Well done. Yes. Also well done to France, who defeated Morocco today 2 to nothing. So France versus Argentina in the World Cup final. I am openly rooting for Argentina. Nothing against France. Fair enough. Centering feed in front. Ooh. Oh, wow, that was close. That well, would have been an odd one. <laughs> clearance attempt that hit the skate. 31 seconds into the second period, scored by number 14. Jake Kalini. Kalani. So Kalani gets the goal. Yep. Third time, Charles. Ryan Van Zyl. Van Zyl, the assist. Number 35. And give Cam Guerra an assist on it as well. Connor Francis. Uh, oh. Help. They're, they're trying. That's what happens with handwritten rosters sometimes. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> Change at number 35, Ken Guerrero. There it is. There's a shot scored. That from the point, Gavin Barua. Nothing strange about that one. 4-1 to score. 
That's a nice snipe, and Roxbury's kicked it into second gear here. Yeah. They're testing the young goaltender now for a little bit more range, and this one, there's nothing you can help here. This is a, mm -hmm. uh, just a seeing eye laser beam. Not quite top corner, but it's a nice shot there from Barua. And now Roxbury stamping their authority a little bit 4 1. Now into the zone, centering. Feed was almost there. Roxbury definitely cranking it up now. Mm -hmm. Buzzing is the word. In front, save made by Nicholas. The rebound comes across. Madison Dodgers have added, have entered the chat. Ah, this goes down for Ison. They are the next game up on the schedule. Madison taking on Randolph in our second game of three here to this afternoon and evening. We'll see if Madison has a uh, all their big weapons for this game. Their first game here was a. 10-0 loss to Mahoha, but they were missing Rusin. They were missing Jiro. Also missing Shannon. Shannon, though, out after a surgery. So we'll see when we see him this year. Back out, cross-ice, blue line, and another one. Assisting on the goal, number six, Gavin Woodenberg. Woodenberg gets one helper. Is This one's in front and covered up. Number 12, Stephen Ellison. Ellison gets the other. A lot of people getting in on the scoring thing. And this is a Roxbury team, Brett, that, again, last year had a lot of growing pains. They were a very young squad. Mm -hmm. We saw them in the preseason, and they've looked solid. Uh, that first period, again, I think they were a little bit asleep. That, early, again, first, you know. Hard first, to get your legs going sometimes. Yeah, first, first game of the three, early game. That happens sometimes. But now they've got, and we're seeing it here now, they're skating very, very well. They have a really dynamic offense when they get going. This is a team that could make a little some noise in the Haas division coming yeah. down from the Halverson. They absolutely could. You got some of those guys like Kalani and Van Zyl up top as well as a guy like Barua on the blue line. That's a pretty good base to start with. And around neutral zone and then here come the Gales once more. Trying to weave around is Aiden Riley. Throw out in front, broken up. A blue line blast blocked off. This is good, though, for Parsippany to play against Ooh. a team high, uh, higher up than them. Snack back to the blue again. Shot goes wide. That being Peterson. No, it absolutely is, Brady. I mean, remember, this is a Roxbury team that was in the Halverson last year, so... You know, when you talk about those teams that move down a division year to year, you're still talking about a team that might have been two divisions above you. Not, you know, not too far in the past. So for Parsippany to still be holding their own, and they've got a goal on the board against this team, it's a pretty good accomplishment so far, and they're holding their own. Nice shot there from Hemingway. Rebound side of the net, battled for a little bit, and turned away. And you can see Parsippany, you know, doing a nice job there, crashing that two or three bodies in there, crashing that big hit. Collisions happen in hockey. That one between the 11 of Connor Francis and the 21, uh, that of Giovanni Nigra. Fed back to the blue line. Nigra was trying to get off on that breakaway and just couldn't do so. And a difference for Nigro too, getting back to his normal position, which is yep. as a skater, he, he had to fill in as a goalie. You know, obviously Parsippany had, you know, was set in goal for about four years. And once... Uh, that position opened up. They really didn't have anybody. So Gio Nigro stepping into that role has done a fantastic job the last couple of years. An admirable job. But now I guess he chance to stretch the skating legs again. Yeah. Stop it. But by the way, we have a PK Subban Montreal Canadiens jersey in the house. Wait. <laughs> always good to see. It, it's always interesting to see what jerseys show up, especially when the student sections have their jersey days. Right. You know, what's going to walk into the building that we've never seen before? I think one of the early games, I saw a St. A Lawrence University hockey sweater, which, I mean, what is that doing down here? Save made, rebound into the corner. You get that one jersey where like, oh, yeah, I remember him. <laughs> but never know what that's going to be. That shot steered aside. Mm 
Now out to center and then into the zone. Roxbury continuing that four checking pressure. And again, you know, a game like, you know, we're already up 3-1. You can't slack off at this point. It's, the, you know, the most dangerous lead in hockey. So if you're Roxbury, they're still pushing forward. They had a nice burst right at the first part of the period. Parsevity's done a better job getting in the passing and the shooting lanes. But Gales, you know, they're not, they know they're not safe quite yet in this contest. There's a little bit of a uh, collision over there in the part near the Parsevity bench. Cross ice pass. That doesn't get to where it needs to be. His puck moved around here. Then 4 1 Roxbury here in the second period. Our game brought to you by the Tattenholes Memorial Game. Friday, December 30th at Sports Care Arena in Randolph when the Gales take on Westmar Central. I'll yeah. go out on a limb and sing we'll have that game of Mars Sussex Sports, just saying. And uh, they're not kidding you when they, uh, oh, it's a player from our symphony is struggling. Looks like he took a shot, I believe. Mm -hmm. But in front, save made, rebound, wipeout down low, no call. As getting absolutely wrecked on the play was Ryan Van Zyl down low. <laughs> Who looked to the referee saying, where was that? That's all right. Referee. <laughs> Referee. Yeah, I got to plug in my uh, flash drive afterwards. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but speaking of that Tanner Hole charity game, Brett, we, we covered that game last year. Yep. They're not kidding when they say the bleachers fill up. So if, yeah. you, uh, if you want to attend and support a great cause, make sure you are there early or get them in advance, if they are selling in advance. But definitely get there early regardless because if you want a good seat, they, they will not be there for mm -hmm. long. That place will get boisterous in a hurry. Centering feet in front avoids Kalani. Not out of his own though. Kalani wants more. 25 shots to four in this. As we've gone midway through this game, 4-1 Roxbury. Long pass goes up to center. And now it's gathered. By Ryan Van Zyl looking to split the day and doesn't puck knocked off of his stick and then poked into the corner. It's always fun when a goaltender wears a number that's not quite the norm for goaltenders. Goes down. Yeah. I say that. I, I mean, listen, it's not like a 20 or 25 Markstrom. Um, <laughs> but. 29 was is, was never the more common. I, mean, I always see Mark Andre Fleury with it, but yeah, like the common you're one, thirty, thirty-one, right. thirty-five, Thir one, then thirty through thirty-five. Occasionally a forty. You started to see like a thir thirty-six to you know thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. You'd see occasionally forty-one. You'd see here and there. But basically, one and then 30 through 35 are the, the common goalie numbers. Yes. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, was that not the first number from Martin Brodeur? It was, sir. 29. Number 29. For his, uh, his rookie couple season. of games in his rookie season. So Before his real rookie season where he turned over to 30. Well, we don't know if, the, if, this, if that's the reason or not, but if that's an homage to Martin Brodeur, that's a young man who's done his research. Might be a Mark Andre Fleury one. Is uh, yes. it saved and held on it, it, to? It's only going to count if he switches to thirty next year, <laughs> or, or next week. Either one. Either one. Point taken. Six sixteen to go here in the second. Four one Roxbury. Not going to lie, that sandwich smells really good. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you know what's worse about it? I can't have any of it right now because I'm working. You know, doing this. Six minutes and 16 seconds away from a break and a chance for us to get some grub. Um, speak for yourself. Uh, I mean, I, we can get some snacks here. There's a save made. Rebound. Pitch forked, but not out of the zone. Instead, top of the circle for that shot that goes wide. I do have some snacks in my bag if you'd like to partake. No, I'll get something downstairs. Fair enough. It's, uh, it's just that, like, I'm not going to be able to have a meal. Yes. Like an actual, like, serious footage. 
until I leave tonight as this goes down for icing. Are you are you going to be hangry later? Is that what you're telling me? Um, you can literally. Have you ever used Grubhub or DoorDash before? <laughs> I know. To be honest with you, I don't have enough room on my phone. I have an old phone. I don't have room for the app. <sighs> Sean, just give me a look. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Grandpa, get your flip phone out. <laughs> Somebody store dash. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Shock From Jersey one. Mike's, apparently, I heard. I was about to say, uh, people are taking advantage of Jersey Mike's early and often. Wow. I wonder if that's someone who's watching the telecast, texting someone who's here. By the way, there's Jersey Mike's across the road and they're open. I wow. wonder. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Got the business cards. We're working All right. On I might have to see if I can do something online between periods. You, you can use, yeah, you can use, you, you can use the internet app. You yes. can order it on the internet. <laughs> Or just, or just let me do it for you because I actually have the instructions preset on my phone. Okay. <laughs> you can okay. handle that. Because they, they, you, you've seen people come up to the booth before. Yes. Sometimes. Occasionally. I'm oh, not going to lie. What did you have yesterday, by the way? Oh, that was down the street. No. Which way? Uh, no, I, I know that. Okay. In front. No, it's not clear. the way. Nicely only done as far on the back post. As, only as far as the blue line, Connor Francis tried to throw in low. And Shoemaker said, uh, no, get that out of here. Nicely done there by Shoemaker. He was a nice piece from last year's team that's back for his sophomore season on defense this time around. Looks like he's uh, paired. I think that's with Hemingway, the freshman. Ah, yeah. Number 10. But again... When you're trying to f fill the skates of uh, David Zelinskis on defense, it's going to take a few people at least to start off with. Might be, might be one of the smoothest skaters we saw the last couple of years on the blue line, Zelinskis. Clear to the near side boards. Uh, I haven't always got some size to him. Yes, he does. <laughs> As a, he's a freshman? Yep. They wow. both are. Hemingway, both freshmen. Yes. Dang. Matthew the, the, and Robert. Yeah, number 10, the yeah. defenseman. He's... Wow. He gets his, if he gets the skating down a little bit more, he's going to be a problem. Well, remember, he is playing junior hockey right now, so. He's not too, He doesn't look too bad. Plays for the Kings, I believe. 14U, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm telling question. you right now, he does some power skating. Uh, you know, he gets the power skating going to bring his game up. Oh, he's going to be a headache. <laughs> he's a headache now. He's delivered a couple right. hits in this game. Right. But uh, we're talking. <laughs> We're talking Advilene helping that headache. <laughs> Here's a play in front. Everybody sliding towards goal. Puck still loose and then swept away into the corner by Robert Hemingway. Who's uh, Hemingway? Uh, Robert's not uh, short of stature either, though. No, they got bo both the Hemingways. I, I was saying on the preview show, man. I'm, a same, I'm assuming good, twins. Man. I'm assuming they, twins. Uh, they yeah. yeah, they are. I, I, they're pictures that they are. One just has a little more, one has a little more lettuce than the other. Ah. Matt's, Matt's got a mop top where Robert's a little more clean. Fair enough. But their face is exactly the same. Ooh, Ooh. that's been a little too heavy. Delayed penalty call coming up. Giovanni Nigro is going to go to the box. A shot that goes wide. Cam Guerrero is the one that absorbed that hit, and he's hey. still going after it. And it popped right back up. Yep. Back out to the blue line. Oh, the shot score! That hit somebody in front, and it might have been Guerra. Not sure. Might be. Van, I think it's Van Zyl. He was in the corner. He put his arm up immediately. Somebody got a piece of that. It's five-one Gales. And this is just another laser beam from the top. 18 first. Alarm. Yeah, but it's Van Zyl who's leading the line. Somebody got a tip on this, and you'll see it there. It comes in front. Oh, That's a beautiful Lord. ramp up. Oh, ho, ho. there's but not many goaltenders in the entire no. conference that's stopping that. Ryan Van Zyl, take a bow. I'm assuming that means that there's no power play then. You are correct, sir. By the way, uh, that's what makes him a national oh, champion. There oh, no, there's not. Never mind. That's yes. what makes him a national champion, yeah, by the way. A few way. of them. A few of them on that North Jersey team. And that one, that's a, that's a yeah, pretty one. I was just... That's a pretty one. When you get a goal like that as a goalie, Brett, what, what, do, you have, what do you do? Just, you know, do you take the mask off and tip it or... It hit the crossbar that time as Roxbury right back into the zone, courtesy 
of the 18, Ryan Van Zyl once again. Uh, what do you do? You just <laughs> you, you, you stand on your knees for a second because that thing got elevated, and you're just like, hi, why? <laughs> oh, what that's a save. Not <laughs> save made. By, <laughs> and then you do that. Yeah, you, you respond. That. Exactly. You've got, you got 27 it. of those, by the way. Worked around the perimeter, rising shot. It's going to end up going somewhere towards the uh, towards the uh, One Hockey Products Pro Shop and DiscountHockey.com store. Almost took out the exit sign above the entrance door there. Oh, that's why there's a cage around it. Yeah. yeah. Good thing it did not redirect down to the member of staff who's down there. Check your emails from George, please. Right. Okay. Okay. Nothing, wrong, nothing for this game, but for the other games in the future, sir. In front, score on the rebound. Got, that slowed down on its way there. And it's A.J. Mancuso in his second of the game. And that's the first one of the bunch that Nicholas will want to have back. Yeah. He, the reason that got slowed down, he got a lot of glove on it. It just barely slipped out of the corner of his glove on the shot by Mancuso. I don't know if it got. No, it, I, I saw it from here. It, it, he caught a lot of glove on it, and it just slipped out of his grasp. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and you're sat right. There. That, that's, a, that's a tough one, but. Well, listen, you're going to face so many shots, eventually one of them is going to get away. Yeah, no, it, exactly. It's just, that's just chance. You roll the dice. It's it's a dice roll sometimes, you know? Yeah, well, these kind of well, here's the thing. He can talk to the, his goaltender at the other end about that from last year. Roxbury was, you know, had a real tough year last year. They, you know, a little bit tough on defense. And Mikey Guadagnino, that's a nice save there by Nicholas, but Guadagnino was facing 30, 35, 40 shots a yeah. game. I, and he mm -hmm. was, he, you can see, you know how good he is. So it happens. It just, if you face that number of shots, it's simple arithmetic. I just can't, I just can't believe that, that, that um, Stratomatic uh, reference just went completely over his head. No, because uh, now I'm multitasking. Oh. <laughs> so I didn't even hear it. I said you're going to say so many shots, eventually one's going to get away. It's just a roll of the dice sometimes. Ah. Uh, yeah. Question is, is it, you know, what is it? Is it 1 to 15, 1 to 18? Who knows? Skutnik and Sokolowski on the assist for that one. I say they were the blocker by Nicholas. Mancuso second of the game, 36 to go in the period. That's deflected around, goes behind the net into the corner. Ellison trying to find his way out in front. He's got a pair of assists in this one under the stick of Barua. We'll feather it back down low once more. Trying to play out in front, Ellison. Worked out to the blue line, thrown towards goal that's off the mark. Still battled for, Rister save, rebound loose and cleared. And the second period will come to an end. And a little bit of a hit afterwards. 37 shots to five through two periods. Our score after two, 6-1 Roxbury. Here are Mars Sussex points. Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. 
If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here, the demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website. ICSHVAC.com. Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. to relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern Acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak NERD. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. 
so fast, it's worth the wait. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Midge Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home. And she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right, because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Semino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf lawfirm.com If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here, the demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website. ICSHVAC.com. Hi, I'm Rob Guswaller. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, 
poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. to relax during these stressful times? Well then look no further than modern acupuncture. Modern acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern acupuncture, making lives better. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home. And she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right, because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Semino and Philippone is a New Jersey based. Welcome back. 6 1 Roxbury over Parsippany after two. MCSS IHL hockey. This game brought to you by the Tannen Holes Memorial Game. Joining them for the fifth annual Memorial Ice Hockey Game on December 30th at Sports Care Arena in Randolph. Roxbury takes on West Morris. For all the information, uh, as well as uh, some apparel, if you want to pick some of that stuff up, tannenholes.company.site. Here's where you go. 
Now, will that be a just a friendly, quote unquote, as it was last year in the preseason, or is that game going to count as well? I could tell you in a second. Okay. Bring it up as into the zone come the Gales. Shot goes. Like a pass that goes wide from Cam Guerra. By the way, how uh, I'm not surprised that it's uh, Coach Togno involved with that of with Chris Mars. One of the true gentlemen of the of the game here in the state. Uh, that would be an actual game. Oh, it actually is going to count. Yeah, okay, it's going to count for some stuff. Okay. The powerpoints see all. Shot. That's Ooh. a riser. It gets the mask. Yeah, it, it got somebody's mask. Whether or not it was Guerra's or Nicholas. I think it was Guerra's as he fell yeah. back there, and he, he's lucky he caught it on the cage, not straight on. As that, there they got the tunes in order. As this shot comes in. Yeah, that was Guerra. Yeah, it was Guerra. He was kind of leaning back to try to get out of the way and then took a little push from one of the Parsippany players and, like I said, didn't get it straight on and kind of caught the cage that was away from his face side. So, lucky that's all that was. Held at the blue here by Griffin Warsaw, number 24. Always good to start with a little John Lennon, too, by the way. Yeah. A little different. Did you plug me back in or no? No, you didn't. Okay. I can't plug you in with my feet. No. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Here's Ben Skutnik. Moves around. Given Skutnik and a shot to save me that time by Nicholas. Sean muted himself, which only has me <laughs> wondering. <laughs> Pinball effect here with the puck. And now this will be cleared up and all the way down. Now I'll go for icing. We get a stoppage with 12.58 to go here in the third. Tell you what, Brad, I like what I've seen from Andrew Nicholas. This is our first time really seeing Parsippany in yeah. the regular season. You saw him in the preseason. Again, ah, that's what Sean said. Thank yeah. you very much, Sean. Again, he has plugged yeah. me. He's plugged my laptop in. Ah, there we go. But you know, he's, he's a little bit of a smaller goaltender, Nicholas. But he's really good fundamentally. He's got really good reflexes. Yeah. Gets his angles right every time. Again, once he he fills out that frame a little bit more, Parsippany's got themselves a nice goaltender the next couple of years. Three. Centering pass in front, but rejecting that idea was the number five of Aiden Riley. Back out to center, this goes. And then it pops, uh, somehow stays in. <laughs> I thought for sure that was ending in the Parsippany bench, and it clunked off the dasher and stayed in play. I thought they did clunk off the dancer, dancer off the referee there. No, that was dasher. <laughs> Magic puck. We've seen some funny bounces in this one. Last couple of days we've seen some weird hops. And we're not talking about the variety to go into beverage either. No. This goes all the way down. No icing on this. Spun around the boards. And now the start out here for Roxbury. Moving in the zone. Aiden Riley throws one towards goal. It's knocked up and into the netting in a stoppage of play. With 11.49 to go here in the third. We got ourselves three games here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we do. Randolph and Madison will get going. Scheduled for a 545 start, but as we all know on these nights. And then at 745, it's Newton Lenape Valley taking on Park Regional. That should be a good one. First look at uh, Newton Lenape Valley for the season is that's offside. We've seen Park in a couple of games. They had the tie against Westmore Central, then lost to Montville. So Park's still trying to find their way a little bit. They're 1-1-1 one, one on the start of the season. Newton Lane Valley, I believe they are 1-0 coming into this contest. Yep. Newton with a 4-2 win in their opener. That was against uh, Catholic. Yeah, Mars Catholic. Here's a move into the zone. Channel bounce wide. Tell you what. The Killcats have been involved in some high-scoring stuff early on. Yes, they have. <laughs> this is out in front, saves me. Rebound loose. And back out to the blue line. Rister from there goes wide. 
Kilcats uh, and Carney decided to play some defense. 9-5 final there. <laughs> and, of course, they defeated Parsippany 7-0 in their last outing. That's a heck of a trip, by the way. Yeah. One, either, either direction. I don't know where Carney plays. I'm assuming somewhere I in Newark. Believe, yeah, I believe they play at, uh, as we know, at the Hockey House. The uh, AmeriHealth Pavilion. Ah, yes. Centering feed in front, and what a step up, and what a save by Nicholas. And get some applause from the Parsippany faithful. What a save that was. It got past him on a redirection, I think. And he had Oh, it went in the net. Did it go in? It went in. Oh, it did go in. I thought he had it under him. He reached back. And well, everybody did. The Parsippany fans were standing and cheering to my right. Nobody from Roxbury was really celebrating. But, uh, okay, it did trickle in. Couldn't see that from, by, uh, from behind him there. Didn't quite see who they... Oh, was uh, it Kalani? I'm pretty sure it was Kalani. Uh-oh, turnover. In the zone. Nice stop, nice shot, but it goes wide. Uh, that by Robert Hemingway. This goes up the boards, and, and that's turned over again. Stick lifts, but in the zone, Hemingway again. His shot save made Guadagnino. And now the skate out in the other direction. Peterson. Tyler Peterson, a little slam on the brakes. Tried the stuff attempt back on that near side, uh, but alert to all that going on was Nicholas. With the way he stopped, I thought he was looking for a Michigan there for a second. That shot. Nicholas gets the pad on it. Just some really crisp offensive possession. Some good cycling here. Roxbury looking good. Yeah, this is a much improved Gales team from last year. And again, just young last year. Just had to learn the systems. And you can tell they've been well drilled in them in the preseason. In front! That one he got. Yep. That one he got. Got across well, too. And the stoppage with 9-12 to go in the third. We'll be back here again for, we believe, a triple header tomorrow. They said there's a chance of games maybe being pushed to Friday if the weather doesn't stay as rain as predicted. There's a chance of some white stuff coming down. Yeah. In fact, the uh, GSB, I'm sorry, the... Yeah, the GSB Vernon game has already been uh, postponed. Uh huh. But that's up there, though. He yes. Yes. Goal scored by number 14, Jack Kalani. Assisting on the goal, number 18, Ryan Van Zyl. Van Zyl. Number 22, Tyler Peterson. Peterson oh, has. Like yep. So Peterson's got a Kalani pair of assists. Well, since Peterson. I haven't put him up, here's Peterson. There you go. <laughs> Found him. Got him. But, yeah, I think they're expecting a little bit more of the S word up in uh, Sussex County. Ew. Mostly mostly rain down here, I believe. Although, about this same time next week, uh, might not be so lucky down here from what I've seen. Oh, I'll we'll have to see. Yes. You know, I could pop on AccuWeather. Still a long way to go. Still yes. a week out. So. Centering pass in front, but that got knocked off of Ben Skutnik's stick. Now, glove save made by Andrew Nicholas, and he holds on with 8-11 to go in the third period. Decent attempt there from Skutnik, who was looking for the top corner. But once again, a nice flash of the leather from Nicholas. He's had a couple of those tonight. His glove hand, good reflexes, good job there. Oh, <laughs> and ended, windmill. Ended the flourish at the end. Give me a windmill. <laughs> right. Goal of Union, we, we definitely uh, appreciate that. That's knocked aside. How on earth did that? <laughs> How on earth it didn't? How, what, who, when, and where? Knocked around the other way. Yeah, so with some winter, obviously, we're now in the winter months, we're in the winter solstice. Yes. As this goes all the way down for icing. And so we got to worry about snow. 
Although I did notice, you know, looking at the schedule that we do have, there are dates built in as makeup dates. Yes. And I believe Friday is one of them. Right now, only one game on the schedule here for Friday. Just as long as the games that are made up are after the first game that's already on schedule. Right. Then we won't have any problems. That, that is very much a you problem, yes. Mm-hmm. Because I have a 12 o'clock in Bridgewater. Oh, fun. Randomly a Friday afternoon premiere <laughs> game. Here's a shot. Save me. Nicholas. Oh, oh, what a save on the rebound. <laughs> Control on that one. It goes the other way and off the back wall. Control S. Control S. I mean R. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever the hot button is. R for replay. S for save. <laughs> yes, that was a control. <laughs> what a save on the <laughs> rebound, though. <laughs> wow. Yes, we occasionally we lose our collective minds. And <laughs> that shot hits the side of the net rebound. <laughs> Just, wow. Some more than others, mostly <laughs> me. Yep. <laughs> That's it. Now I'm going to use the strat reference. That's the proverbial one to seven. That's the one to 19 and someone rolled a 20. <laughs> Start. Goalie, goalie card one to 19 on the rebound breakaway. And uh, oops, there's a 20. Star for clutch. Uh, Star no, for clutch. <laughs> no, no, you're not getting that. <laughs> One side the other way. They don't have a clutch rating in hockey. Really? No, they don't. Huh. Only in baseball. Game that my All father right, actually, is a Football has it, too. Game that my father is a purveyor of. Still uses the cards, by the way. I have them in my uh, van right now. All four, all four sports. Yes. No, they're not making soccer. Not yet. No, they won't. That's too big. They won't. There's way too much going on there. Cross-size pass. <laughs> There's Ooh. a shot and a save made. And we'll, well, we'll get to go see now this previous one. Well, here's the setup. It's a perfect setup by Roxbury, too, with the cutter. Hey, glove save and a butte. <laughs> Michael Nelson, the number nine, was in the neighborhood looking for his. Fa well, <laughs> well, welcome, <laughs> welcome to high school hockey, Mr. Nelson. And shot blocked <laughs> off. He had, he had his first high school goal on his stick, and uh, oh. Andrew Nicholas said, "Nope." And he did everything right too. Yes. Like that's the thing. He yes. can't. He can't be upset with himself. <laughs> He's. He did uh, everything. He, he was trailing the play. He was the third man right down the slot. Was there for the rebound. He just got absolutely robbed. Yeah. He's more. filing a police report at the end of this game. It's more than just that. <laughs> Grand larceny. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere along those lines, that bouncer steered wide. Fifty shots on goal for the Gales. But shot number 47 was the one we'll talk about. Jeez. Yeah. Or 48, whichever one that was. 47 and 48, really. That sails. I, I think we can safely say this with five minutes to go. A lot of silver linings for both teams in this game. Obviously, yeah. Roxbury has played pretty well. As there's a bit of an awkward tie up there in the corner. <laughs> no, pe no penalty called on that one. Play on. But... Obviously, Roxbury's performed well. That's another shot saved by Nicholas. And they've got the seven goals. They're skating well. And the biggest thing for, for yes, Roxbury scored seven goals. But as Sean mentioned before, the passing has been crisp. They're cycling well. They're doing all the fundamental things at a really high level that will translate not just in, you know, games against shred opponents, but also against Haas opponents. So that's what you like to see. And for Parsippany, there's plenty of bite in this team that's developing. Again, it's just very young and a little bit smaller in terms of the roster size, but if they play like this against some of the other, some of the Shret teams, look out. That one goes through. They will steal. Andrew Nicholas is going to steal him a win or two in the Shret if he yeah. plays like this. Yeah, he's going to. Yep. Knocked around up top here. Barua's pass blocked off. So here we're not expected, by the way, to get. It's going to be rain. It's going to be a cold rain. Freezing rain. Lovely. Yeah. So leaving well, here is going to be quite interesting. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Um. But um, in terms of that, it's a shot that's 
tent went way up. That was above the out. pipe up there. <laughs> Rob, about bit up flag there. level. Uh, but up in Stockholm at, at yeah, uh, Skylands. At Skylands Ice Rink, uh, Ice World there. That's, yeah. that's going to be a little bit different. Yeah. Okay, well, from what, I, again, I talked to, there's nothing official. It's going to come from the league. But apparently the league has contacted the teams at least to see about potentially Friday. Not definite, but potentially right. at this rate. Oh, yeah. uh, especially up there. Shot knocked aside. I have the ice slots for it. Yeah, especially up at Skylands. Yeah. The, it's going to start up there around 4 o'clock. It's going to start as freezing rain, and, and then it's going to turn over to snow, and then yep. then the fun begins. Yes. As a Sussex County resident, I can tell you, it's not fun. <laughs> Down the road's up there. No. They clear them quickly, but you still... I'm thinking about 94 in and around Hamburg, those hills around there. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> I can tell you stories about driving those hills in the snow. Oh, I bet. In front, getting a piece of it again was Nicholas. No, I'm not kidding. Oh. I mean, well, they didn't credit a shot on goal because he did poke at it, but there you go. Look at that one. Yeah, he should get that one. Two Thank 56 you. to go. <laughs> 54 shots from Roxbury. 47 saves for this kid. Yep. That's. Where is he? There he is. That, that's a tip of the hat right there. Mm. That's a stick tap. And you can see his teammates going over to him Shade. and giving him a pat on the head. Shades of Mikey Guadagnino. Exactly. Yeah. It really is from last year. Guadagnino, by the way, look at Guadagnino on the far side. He's just relaxing over there. He's just leaning on the, on the crossbar. No, he, he know, well, <laughs> unfortunately for him, he knows he's going to get the win today. His goals against average might go down a little bit, maybe. His save percentage is going to take a, uh, a dip, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, a bit of a frustrating he's one. Only had, he's only had uh, – Seven shots against him, and one has gone. Oh, another save. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Was that save or post? That was no, a glove. glove. That was glove. That oh. was split through the other direction. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Going to have to face it. You're addicted to glove. <laughs> Andrew Nicholas, take a bow, son. Oh. Escape the other way. Oh. Move in. And the rebound is no! no! You're kidding. You're kidding me. What? What the heck? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Watch. <laughs> what a move. Save. Rebound. Oh, no. How? <laughs> the the two reactions are what I'm laughing at. The Eight. first the, the the first shot. See, the thing is, he kept the other one out. The first the initial fifty first or fifty first save is actually not one because uh, he, I think the guy on the back door just just accidentally slammed it against the post. Maybe. And then and then he covered it up. Yeah, it, it, it was the five of Aiden Riley who who. Put his hands up in despair that that somehow didn't go in. But the reaction, too, from number 17, Dan Castellano, he, he looked over at the Randolph players who were in the corner and, were, and just put his hands up like, what are we, gonna, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> like Brett, that, it was listen, one of those. Brett, I, I'm putting the stamp on this one. Nicholas has got to be one of the three stars. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do not care. I, I was, you know, sorry, but. He, the, can give up, he can give up another three in these next minute 26. I don't care. You, he, you talk about star of the game. Yeah, he's no, been I, talking I, about him all game. Uh, he's the star. He's a star of the game. Yeah, he is. Bottom line, he is. Fifty-one saves right now. I was about to say, depending on this goes, he could get close to sixty tonight. Sixty against sixty shots on. Goal yeah, and, and here's the thing: Parsimony has still had their moments of offense too. It hasn't been just in this one end. Most of it's been down there. But here's the poke tick the other way. It'll be a three on two the other direction. Uh, centering feet deflected around a couple of times. Backhand pass intended for Nick Hornering, number two, is broken up and out the to center. The play in the period. One minute. What on earth have we just seen in the last <laughs> few minutes? And that one overshadowed the other one he made with the glove hand going behind his head. Mikey Guadagnino just said no mas. <laughs> or excuse me, Andrew Nicholas. 
Thrown in from center wide of goal. Knocked around a bit and then pawed forward. Well, Roxbury, 20 seconds away from picking up their second win of the season. And at, yes, Guadagnino's same percentage will take a dip, but it still won't look that bad. No, It'll be it, over 900. No, he'll be, he'll be good to, he'll be, uh, Happy to play. Um, he'll be happy to face four shots in his next game so we can bring that back up again. Yeah, you know, this one ends in a 7-1 to victory. 58-8 to the shots on goal in this one. Well, we know who one of the stars are going to be. Come back in a moment for the other two here on Mars Sussex Sports. In Morristown and Hazlitt. Devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-lawfirm.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your... At Men and Arena, it's a 7-1 final score. Roxbury with the win. They go to 2-0. Parsippany drops to 1-2. And, and it's time for our three stars of the game presented by the Jason Tannenholz Memorial Ice Hockey Game. Join us at the 5th Annual Tannenholz Memorial Game. It's Friday, December 30th at 745. Roxbury takes on West Morris at Sports Care Arena in Randolph. The stands get packed, so come early. Puck toss contest, 50-50 raffle. And limited edition Tannenholz Memorial Game t-shirts are available as well. If you want some of that merch, go online. Tannenholz.company.site. Do it by December 19th, please. Third star of the game is going to be Jake Kalani. He had a pair of goals in this one. Se oh, second star of the game. Oof, he could have been first. They had team. Andrew Nicholas with 51 saves. Oh, oh. by the way. Yeah. Yikes. First star of the game with a pair of goals, A.J. Mancuso. That's our number one star of the game. Where'd the picture go? He doesn't and, have one yet. Ah, okay. Gotta get that. Yeah, that's right. So there's your three stars of the game. Brought to you by the Tannenholz Memorial Game. Um, okay. My head's still spinning from some of those saves. Guys, thoughts? Sean, go ahead if you want. Listen, with this kid, Nicholas, it added extra confidence. This Parsippany team is going to do just fine in the threat in the coming years. Um... A chance to battle. I said at the preview show that, you know, we're going to find out within the first couple of games that I feel like Parsippany has an opportunity to be in that Charette Cup final. Now, listen, I'm not going to back away from that prediction. Why? This kid might be able to steal them a few games um, mm -hmm. in that Charette division, um, and we'll see where that goes, um, you know. And that's, that's pretty much all I have to say. I, I will, you touched on everything I wanted to from our symphony, so let me talk about Roxbury for a second. What a step forward this team has taken. We, we, you can see it just in their play. You talk about confidence. Um, a tremendous effort from 
this entire team in this one. Barua had a great game. Woodenberg was fantastic. Kalani, Ellison, Nathan Zyl, Peterson. This is a team with a lot of weapons. They're kind of getting overlooked, I think, in the Haas division. They shouldn't be because that's a team, I think, that can cause some havoc once they get into divisional play. So our final score here, once again for Men in Arena, Roxbury 7, Parsippany Regional 1. Thanks to all of you for tuning in to this presentation of the MCSS IHL here on Mars Sussex Sports. For my broadcast partners, Sean Predlick and David Hashig, and I'm Brett Luth. They're 7-1 to final here at Menin. Two sub shots, they both start with J. That's about where the, that's about where the similarity is. Correct. Yes. In front, diving stop, rebound behind. And then come. Uh, playing some quality junior hockey as well when he's not playing for Parsippany. He plays with the North Jersey Kings 15 UAA. In <laughs> front score, and Roxbury on the board. Honey was trying to look for the stuff. Kalani with a nice fake on the stuff attempt at the one post, went around and sent it right into the slot, but nobody there for Roxbury. Shot, save made, rebound loose and cleared away. Nice job there. As long as it's not a dang it. Yep. Oh, wow! It somehow found its way past Guadagnino. And this game... Score and they get that one right back. Well, this is shaping up on around the boards, and now it's Roxbury's turn to go the other way. In the zone, trying to send once again. It's in. Three one to score, and again the roster sometimes. Number thirty five, Can Guerrero. There it There's is. a shot score! Back from the point, Gavin Barua. Nothing strange about that one. 4-1 to score. Back out to the blue line. Oh, the shot score! That hit somebody in front, and it might have been Guerra, not sure. Might be Van, I think it's Van Zyl. He was in the corner. In front, score on the rebound. Got, that slowed down on its way there. And it's A.J. Mancuso in his second of the game. And that's the first one of the bunch. Now for some stuff. Okay. PowerPoints see all. Shot. That's Ooh. a rise and it gets the mask. Yeah, it, it got somebody's mask, whether or not. As we know at the hockey house. The uh, AmeriHealth Pavilion. Ah, yes. Centering feed in front and what a set up. And what a save by so. Centering pass in front, but that got knocked off Ben Skutnik's stick. Now, oh, love save made by Andrew Nicholas, and he holds on with oh, fun. Randomly a Friday afternoon. <laughs> Here's a shot save made. Nicholas, oh, what a save on the rebound. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, a bit of a frustrating he's one. He's only had he's only had uh, seven shots against him, and one has gone. Oh, another save! Oh my God, are you kidding me? Was that save or post? That was no. <laughs> Andrew Nicholas take a bow, son. Oh, and escape the other way. Oh. Move in, and the rebound is no. You're kidding. He'll be uh, happy to play. Um, He'll be happy to face four shots in the next game so we can bring that back up again. Yeah, you know, this one ends in a 7-1 victory. 58-8, the shots on.